everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Thursday, August 2nd. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And once again, I am coming to you live from the 2012 Summer Press Tour in Los Angeles at the famous Beverly Hilton Hotel. Uh, we are wrapping up. I only have one more day to go. Tomorrow I check out at 1 p.m. at this hotel. I can't believe I've been here for two weeks already. This has been a whirlwind. It goes so quickly. Now, at this point of the tour, we are at the cable portion. Normally, cable comes first. But this time it was at the end. And the difference between cable and broadcast, uh, the broadcast networks, is it's not just one cable network or two throughout the day. You have a slew of different cable networks. For example, yesterday we began with a breakfast sponsored by Current TV and the Stephanie Miller Show. Then we went to three sessions for Ovation. Three more sessions were then for BBC America. And then after lunch, we had an afternoon with HBO. So it basically goes from one show to another, one network to another. It is it, it could kind of like spin your head. But truth, truth be known, I enjoy the cable portion the most. And I really have to focus on um, two of the sessions at HBO that I found extremely fascinating and extremely different. And I'm going to begin with an upcoming movie on HBO. It is called The Girl. It tells the story of famous director Alfred Hitchcock and um, actress Tippi Hedren and their very odd relationship. You know, the thing about Alfred Hitchcock, who is my favorite filmmaker, by the way, A Rear Window is my favorite Hitchcock movie. I have a slew of Hitchcock movies I love. The thing about Hitchcock movies, as you know, the lead actress was generally a very attractive blonde woman that tended to be a little icy, very sophisticated, and he apparently was very fascinated with Tippi Hedren. Tippi was here telling her story, ultimately that she blames Alfred Hitchcock for ruining her career, but um, not her life. But what I found interesting was I was thinking about 10 years ago, there was a session uh, with the women from Hitchcock Films, including, if I recall correctly, Kim Novak, Tippi Hedren, even Marie Saint, and I believe Suzanne Plachette was here. Nobody was saying anything negative. They ultimately were saying how um, unusual and strange Hitchcock was. But Tippi Hedren, no doubt, had a lot to say, and a lot of it was not positive. But, um, you know, she did get through. She did two of Hitchcock's well-known movies, The Birds and Marnie. And then after that session, we, ran, we went from Tippi Hedren and Alfred Hitchcock, this movie, although Alfred Hitchcock wasn't here, um, into the Kennedys. We had Rory Kennedy here with her mother, Ethel Kennedy. She did a documentary called Ethel that chronicles the life of Ethel Kennedy, uh, basically after the, sa the assassination of her husband, of course. She had 11 children. It was fascinating to watch. She's very soft-spoken. And um, it, it was it truly fascinating, and it really gives me the incentive to watch that documentary on HBO. So it was Tippi Hedren leading into Ethel Kennedy, a strange combination, but it really, truly worked. Now, last night there was an event um, sponsored by BBC America at a restaurant. It was country western themed, and it was for their upcoming series, Copper. And I would be remiss if I did not talk about the event one night earlier, which was sponsored by Warner Brothers at what I believe is called the um, Paley Center, which is a, um, a museum for television of Warner Brothers shows only. So ultimately, you had Dallas, uh, exhibits on Dallas, The Waltons, Eight is Enough. You had all these cool things like lunchboxes, scripts. You had the theme song music. It was so fascinating. We had cast members from The Waltons, Knott's Landing, including Michelle Lee, Joan Van Ark, and Donna Mills, and other stars were popping in that did Warner Brothers series. I had the chance to have a conversation with the three Walton girls, Judy Norton, Mary McDonough, and Cammie Kotler. I found that extremely fascinating. And the creator of the Walton, or er, Waltons, excuse me, Earl Hamney was here, 89 years old. And I truly had the opportunity to thank Earl Hamner for nine years of the Waltons, which I watched every week, and I still watch it. So ultimately, we're at the cable portion. There's all different types of networks, different things coming up. It's a fascinating experience. You know, this this tour is a whirlwind of different, in, you know, news information. Ultimately, there wasn't a lot of hard news that came out of here, but it is interesting to go to these panels and speak to the uh, stars behind them and the producers and what have you. So I am wrapping up at the Summer Press Tour. I leave tomorrow, and I am reporting to you from the Beverly Hilton Hotel on this Thursday. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Signing off, Mark Berman.